Joseph Burnett stopped at this sitco after a hard day's work as concession stands manager of a traveling carnival. While paying for gas, he bought a lottery ticket that happened to be the winner. I had to go get gas and uh, went in there and spent 25. And I scratched the three, didn't win. Scratched the two and won 20. I was happy with the 20. And as I was about to pump gas, I started to scratch the $20 ticket. It got to the 13th number and it said two and a half million. And I, I, I stumbled and I, I started heading back to the, towards the door. And I said, hey, is this, did this happen? What is this? And I said, is this fake? And he scanned it and he said, uh, no, it says present for claims at lottery headquarters. Still in shock, Barnett has yet to come to grips with his newfound millionaire status. And, and it's, it's still sinking into everybody. Um, I guess when I have a new car and I, I <laughs> I guess when things change, they'll believe me. Yeah, um, yeah. But it's 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 surreal. It's it's like it, it is real, but it's sinking in. So his good fortune comes just two weeks after moving to Georgia from Virginia for his job at the carnival, which he plans to keep even though he has made it big. I'm happy with it, and and I invested and and do the best with it. So um, I mean, it changes your life. So. One week you're worried about paying bills, the next year you're not. So um, it's a life changer. It, it, it sure, sure makes things easier. Burnett may not quit his day job, but he's definitely done playing the lottery. He says this type of thing only happens once in a lifetime, and at least when he retires, he'll be on the winning side. That's all from Stockbridge. I'm Des Carter.